Hello, I'm Laura from Denmark. Please like and subscribe. I don't remember much of my dad, but mom always told me he was a horrible person. Apparently, when I was just a year old, he said one day he was going to buy milk and he never came back. And since then, mom really had issues trusting people. Like once when I was four, mom and I were in the elevator at a shopping mall and there was a nice lady who kept smiling at me. And mom freaked out. Why are you staring at my daughter? Because she's so adorable. Keep your eyes to yourself, lady. Mommy, she didn't do anything. You can't trust anyone these days. What if she wants to snatch you away? Although mom was kind of boring and strict, she tried her best to give me a good life. She worked as a banker and we lived in the same apartment building as my favorite Aunt Lily. Since mom worked long hours, I'd stay with my aunt who only worked night shifts at a restaurant. Aunt Lily and I looked a lot alike with our blonde hair and green eyes and she adored me. I loved her too because she was so much fun. But her daughter Emma, who was my age, didn't seem to like me much. Maybe it was because I had better grades or was more athletic than her. Or maybe she hated that aunt gave me so much attention. Once in first grade, our moms took us to a Mother's Day function in the neighborhood. There were so many fun activities like the mother-daughter sack race, but mom complained that her leg was sore. So my aunt took turns racing with me and Emma. Emma was so slow, but I ended up winning the race with aunt. When we received a gold medal for winning, Emma went ballistic and pulled it right off my neck. This is mine because she's my mom. No, it's not. I won the race. We both started fighting like crazy over the medal and our moms had to separate us. It was an ongoing battle between me and my cousin and she could be really evil when she got jealous. Like once in fourth grade, we were on our way to the hairdresser with aunt when some lady stopped her and asked if I was her daughter. Emma looked at me angrily and then tricked me when I wasn't looking. At the salon, the hairdresser went to get her tools and aunt left us for a moment to go to the shop next door. Suddenly, Emma crept up from behind me and chopped off my long ponytail. Now you look like a silly boy. <laughs> Emma, why would you do this? Because my mom is my mom and you need to stay away from her. I pounced on her and pinned her down and then I chopped off her hair too. There, now we're even. When my aunt and the hairdresser returned, they were shocked and aunt was scared to face my mom since mom always called her irresponsible. Gosh, Lily, I can never trust you to do anything right. All I wanted was for her to have a fringe. This is a disaster. It's okay, mom, it'll grow back. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean for this to happen. Mom refused to hear my aunt out and she left looking upset. Why did mom always have to be so uptight? Aunt Lily understood me better than my mom. We liked the same jokes, movies, and many other things. And sometimes I wish that Emma had my mom and I had hers. Like once in eighth grade, I wanted to go to my classmates party, but mom flatly refused. I don't know this girl or her family. How do I know what kind of people they are? And why is this party so late at night? No, you're not going. But Aunt Lily spoke up for me. Come on, she's a good kid. You can't lock her up forever, you know? Let her go have some fun. Okay, but if anything bad happens, it's your fault. I was having an amazing time at the party until someone suddenly fell from the balcony. Luckily, the person ended up on the trampoline. But as she stood up, I saw to my horror that it was mom. To make things worse, she got off the trampoline, lost her balance, and crashed straight into a food table. OMG, who are you? You lunatic. I'm gonna call the cops on you for breaking into my house. Do I look like some criminal, you foolish girl? I'm Laura's mom. Oh, there you are, sweetie. Mom, what are you doing here? I, I was just checking if you were safe. I was the laughing stock of my school after that and Emma enjoyed every moment of it. When we were in 10th grade, I started noticing that Emma never went straight home after school. So one day I decided to follow her. She went to the park and sat on a bench. And sometime later, a man wearing a cap turned up and sat next to her. What on earth was she up to? This guy looked really shady and I had to do something. Emma? Laura, what are you doing here? I was just passing by and I saw you. What are you doing? Oh, please, Laura, you can't tell my mom about this. And then she revealed something shocking. The man was her father. 
I'd never met him before, but I knew Aunt hated him. Emma, your mom will be pissed if she finds out. I know. That's why you can't tell her. I tried to stay out of it, but I couldn't help noticing that Emma was acting weirder by the day. She was often sneaking out of classes and missing school. And one day when her bag was slightly open, I saw that she had a lot of food and some money inside. It looked like she was stealing from Aunt for her dad. I couldn't keep the secret anymore, so I ended up telling Mom, Oh no, that's bad news. He's not a very nice person. What do you mean? He has a gambling problem. That's why Lily kicked him out. I must tell her about this. Not just yet. Maybe I can stop her from seeing her dad. I'll talk to her. My cousin was stubborn and I knew she wasn't going to listen to me. So the next day after school, I decided to get to the park before Emma. And luckily, her dad was already there. Listen, mister, I want you to leave Emma alone. And who are you to tell me what to do? I'm her family and you have to stay away from her. Sorry, no can do. She's my daughter, and if you try standing in my way, I'll come after you and your mother. I can make your lives miserable. He looked really threatening, but I bravely stood my ground and told him I'd report him to the police. He looked at me furiously before he walked off. When I told mom about what happened, she freaked out and insisted that we tell aunt. But when we went to see Aunt Lily, we found her crying with a letter in her hand. Emma is gone. What do you mean, gone? Emma had written in her letter that she was going to live with her dad because she felt that my aunt loved me more. I was speechless because I didn't know that her jealousy towards me affected her so much. We went out searching for her and had no luck for weeks. One day, I went over to cheer up Aunt Lily, but to my shock, she told me not to visit her anymore. But why? You knew all this time that she was seeing her father, but you didn't tell me. And now I've lost my only child. Please, just go away. It broke my heart that Aunt hated me now, but I had to give her some space. Months later, I came home from school one day and found a hair clip in the elevator that I knew belonged to my aunt. I decided to slip it under her door, but when I reached her floor, I saw Aunt in the corridor being robbed by a masked man. He pulled Aunt's bag and started running away, but I chased him and knocked him down. And when I pulled his mask off, I saw that it was Emma? Well done. You just saved your favorite aunt. Where would she be without you? Emma, I've been looking for you everywhere. Look, if you want money, I'll just give it to you. But please, just stay. Why should I? You already have your perfect daughter, and my dad loves me like you love her. She grabbed a handful of cash from aunt's bag, threw it at her, and fled. Aunt and I just stood there in shock. And then she turned to me. This is all your fault. What? Aunt, can you please? But she walked off and slammed her door shut. And after a few weeks, she moved out for good without even telling us where. I was devastated, but mom didn't seem to care. Good riddance. I always felt she was a bad influence on you. And clearly she's a bad mother. She just had one child to raise and she couldn't even do that. No, mom. She raised two. And she's amazing and understanding. And sometimes I wished she was my mom instead of you. I regretted my words instantly, but I couldn't take them back now. Even though I apologized to mom later, our relationship was more awkward than ever. After completing school, I started college and found a part-time assistance job at a company so I could move out of my house. One morning as I was getting coffee, I saw Emma dressed in ragged clothes walking across the road and I went after her. Emma! She looked shocked at first, and then to my surprise, she hugged me. Oh, I'm so glad to see you, Laura. What happened to you? Soon after I started living with Dad, he stopped caring about me. I even dropped out of school because he wouldn't pay for it. Because I had to rush off to work, I gave her my address and the keys to my apartment and asked her to wait for me there. But when I got back home, all my things were gone. She had stolen everything from me even some furniture and all my electronics. Since I hardly had anything at home, I decided to stay at mom's for a few days. I'm so glad to see you. You hardly even call. I know, mom. I get busy sometimes. I need to sleep over. Sure, that would be lovely. She cooked my favorite pasta, and I actually found myself enjoying my time with mom. Somehow, she just seemed lighter. With you all grown up, I figured I didn't need to work so hard all the time. 
I joined a women's group, and we do so many fun things together. Also, I've learned so much talking to my new friends. I realized something. I've never made it clear enough that I think you're an amazing kid, Laura. I'm proud of you. It felt good to hear mom say that. I think you're a pretty good mom too, and I'm sorry if I ever made you feel otherwise. I then told her about what happened with Emma, and she immediately called Aunt Lily. When Aunt Lily came over, I took her to the street where I'd met Emma, and when we got there, I saw her again. But this time, she was dressed in nice clothes and was walking into a fancy restaurant. Gosh, she stole all my stuff and bought herself new clothes. I'm sorry about what she did, but I have to see her. When we walked up to her table, Emma looked shocked. Emma, please, don't go. Let's talk. There's nothing to talk about. Can you guys please leave? I have a meeting with someone. Oh, who do you have a meeting with? Another thief? What did you do with my stuff, witch? <laughs> Why were you so stupid to give me your keys? I sold your stuff and my dad has the money. So, too bad. <laughs> you had a good family and you threw it all away to become a criminal. You people are not my family. My dad is. And I'm not a criminal. Just street smart. Aunt tried her best to talk some sense into her, but she refused to listen. But just as Aunt and I were leaving, suddenly a rich-looking woman barged into the restaurant with cops and pointed straight at Emma. There she is. She came to work for me as a secretary for one week and stole thousands of dollars. I have proof. Arrest her. Aunt and I were horrified as the cops took Emma away, and we followed her to the police station. Emma tried to call her dad, but he wouldn't pick up. The cops looked for him, and it seemed like he'd just vanished. They realized he was the real criminal, and Emma was only his accomplice. But she was still given six months in prison. Aunt visited her every day, and one day she came to see me too. I'm sorry I blamed you all these years for Emma. It was wrong of me to place such a burden on you. It's okay, Aunt Lily. It's all in the past. After she got out, Emma went back to living with Aunt. I heard she'd started school again, and I was glad for her. Months later, I was sitting in my half-furnished apartment. The bell rang, and I found Emma outside. Um, hi. I... I have a surprise for you. When she took me outside, there was a truck full of all the stuff she stole from me. Wow! How did you manage to get it all back? Mom helped me get a part-time job, and I saved up for this. It was the least I could do for you. I'm really sorry that I was always jealous of you, Laura. And I took advantage of you when you were just trying to help me. I'll be better, I promise. I think you already are. Now help me get this stuff into my apartment. 